Hi, this is Will Harvey of Finale Inventory. I'm going to give a quick demonstration of assigning barcodes on the fly to products as I'm receiving them into my inventory off of a truck. The scenario is that a truck has arrived at my facility and I don't know exactly what's on the truck. Since my supplier, for example, may make substitutions of one item for another. So that makes it difficult for me to print out specific barcode labels in advance of the shipment for those items because I don't know what the truck is going to contain. So what do you do in this case? One approach is to print out generic barcode labels that are just basically numbers, like sequential numbers, one, two, three, four, five. And then as you're unloading the boxes, put a unique barcode label on each box and scan the label in as you're doing this and identify it with the products that the box contains. That's what I mean by on the fly. I'll show you how to do this using Finale. Click on barcode scanning, create a new scan session, put the cursor in the scan key, then you're ready to go. Take the first box off of the truck, uh, put the first label on it and scan it in. Here I've just grabbed a scanner and scanned that item in and then say what it is. So the box, this box contains igniters. Okay, then uh, scan the next box. Put the next box, pull the next box out of the truck and put a, a label on it and scan it. If it contains the same item, let's say that the second box is also of igniters, then the description and product ID uh, are okay. They filled in by default as the same as the previous one because that's often the case and so it works out to be pretty convenient. I can change that default setting over here by telling Finale what to do when I'm scanning in a barcode that it hasn't seen before. Right now I say fill with the previous value. Okay, scan in the third box. Great, another box of igniters, I don't have to do anything else. Scan in the fourth box. Now the fourth box, let's say, is not igniters, it's something else. Let's say it's some debt cord and that has a lot ID. Um, so I just typed in what the fourth box is. Now I'm going to enter, uh, pull off the fifth box and scan it in. The fifth box will say is also debt cord so I don't have to do anything more. Uh, I pull off the sixth box. This is the last box in the truck. The sixth box contains another type of igniter, so uh, I'm going to specify what that is here, igniter type 2. And th this one does not have a, the igniter type 2 does not have a lot number, so I remove that. So that's all there is. I've scanned in all of the boxes that I've pulled off of the truck. Each one now has a barcode label on it with a barcode, a unique barcode, that identifies with the product that the box contains. Having done this, I go to the Actions menu, and I either add this as a shipment to an existing purchase, or I just create a new purchase. I'll do that here. So here's my purchase. I have uh, three igniters, two boxes of debt cord, one box of igniters type two. That's what I expected, so now I'm going to go over to the shipments and receive the shipment. The shipment was just received. That's really all there is to it. I've just scanned in a shipment of items and assigned barcodes to those items as I was unloading them from the truck, uh, which works in situations where you don't know what's going to be on the truck in advance.